Hi everyone, I'm doing repotting of my tulsi plant and this is how I do it. I'm just going to share how I'm doing. This is my own personal experience. So I'm just talking about my personal experience, how I do it. I'm shifting smaller pl plants to the bigger pot. So for that, I've taken a bigger pot and I'm going to just repot the tulsi plants in the original form. So I'm not going to be pulling tulsi out. I'm just gonna be you know just taking the smaller plants and then I'll be you know placing them into a bigger plant right now I'm using green tea leaves as a natural fertilizer so you can use green tea powder or green tea leaf or uh, in the pots uh, and just mix it with the soil I have used green tea in the previous in the past uh, with my plants and my plants just grew fine there was no uh, you know problem with it so I'm just using green tea as a natural fertilizer here I'm just trying to you know push out the plant in the original form no pulling of the roots so I do not pull the roots at all do not pull the roots this will damage your plant so the best way is just to uh, keep pushing and the plant will come out itself you can see how the roots are and plants are growing really fine they are really beautiful they look good and we are going to be potting it into the original form and this is how i do it this is the potting mix which i'm using and this is an indoor potting mix for my uh, tulsi plant and i use this potting mix for my all for my all the indoor plants i have so i have this right now so i'm gonna be just adding this potting mix this potting mix is available on I think all the stores every store carries uh, this uh, brand and this is how I'm gonna do it and I'll be adding uh, like uh, water into it but the water which I'm I'll be you know adding is I'll be just spraying it in this mist form I'll not be uh, you know adding too much water in the mist form uh, when you add the water to the plant it, it just goes in a nicer way and it won't damage the plant so I'll be just you know spraying some mist uh, uh, on my plants now and you can see this is how I do it hope you like the video and this is my way of doing it um, uh, how I you know bought my tulsi plants at home and I've grown many tulsi plants at, at home and this is how I shift them I usually plant them into the smaller uh, containers first with smaller containers there are higher chances of them to grow and i can always uh, you know have uh, you know eye on them i can always you know you know check on them and with the smaller pots it's always easy to shift them to the sunlight and you know when it's raining you can take the, you know get uh, the plants inside that's why i always use smaller pots first and now this is the second pot i'm planting the tulsi here is bigger in size they are way bigger than my previous uh, uh tulsi pot and you can see the roots are really good the roots are really nice and this is much much bigger tulsi than my previous pot and i'm gonna be using the same soil planting it in the same way and I have used the green tea as a fertilizer and uh, this is how I'm doing it. The plant should be always uh, be repot into an original form. I never pull uh, the plant out. I will never pull any leaf out or any stem out or any root out. This is wrong. You should always, uh, you know, uh, do it into the original form. This way you will not be, you know, no. Uh, you know destroying the plant and plant won't get damaged this is my personal experience so i'm just talking about my personal experience this is how i do the repotting and the same way i just water in the mist form this is how i do it so hope you guys like the video thank you